Well, hello, hello, and welcome, or welcome back to The Winning Wallet. My name is Elle, and on this channel, we know it is never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances. Here on this channel, you will find all fun things related to budgeting, cash stuffing, with a little bit of wisdom thrown in from time to time. If you are new here, please say hello down below. If you are returning, say hello to me also, so I can just chat with you for a minute and wish you a happy day. If you would like to, there's a blue button way over in the corner. I'd love to welcome you here as a subscriber. We are getting ready. Oh, I don't know when, but we're getting closer to a thousand subscribers. And when we do, I have some amazing gifts to send out to you guys as a thank you for your support. Now, let's get into the money. And we are going to start today with some happy mail that came in. Um, I check my P.O. box once a week. I will leave the P.O. box up there in the corner for you, right over there. I love happy mail. And in case you're new here, we are having a card swap in July. But when I got these cards today, it certainly did lift my spirits for Valentine's. And it's so funny because, Ange, if you're watching, I bet you recognize this card. And our cards pass, or our cards passed each other in the mail. So I thought that was really neat. This is from Ange over at Ange Budget and Debt. And she says, Al, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate your support. I also love your channel. Keep going. You're doing great. Happy Valentine's times and inside are just so many cute little stickers. It is happy Valentine's Day. You all are my Valentines. How cute are these little stickers? You know what is so funny? Um, just a little while ago, I was out with Miss Lucy Girl and there was a huge, not a tortoise, but I think one of the red slider turtles in the yard digging a hole for laying eggs. But boy, was that a treat to see Mother Nature today. And we have a heart and we have some sloths. I know so many people love sloths. They are just so endearing. So Ange, I thank you for your support. Um, it's just been a pleasure getting to know you on the tubes. And this card, guys, more L bucks. I am collecting L bucks, but these are not for me. These are from Christy, and these are for Ms. Lucy Girl. She doesn't know that she's going to have a savings envelope yet, but I'll show that to you in a minute. And Miss Christy, if you're here on the tubes, you may have seen her comments, and she sent me this adorable little kitten. Look at that face. And she says, hello, L and Pack. I enjoy your videos and getting to know you through them. I know you're collecting L bucks for you, but these L bucks are for Ms. Lucy Girl from my pack. Talk soon, Christy. So, Christy, <laughs> thank you so much. I will put these in Lucy's envelope. She already has an envelope that I had been using earlier um, when I started the budgeting journey. So I will show you that in just a minute. And so Ange and Miss Christy, thank you so much for your happy mail. Came just in time for Valentine's and you definitely lifted my spirits and warmed my heart. I appreciate you both. So moving on now to my original savings binder. The same thing is happening, you guys, where I'm starting to get a little bored with these. These amounts are getting pretty big. Some of them are very big. If you see here, I did only color in, let me zoom you in. I only did color in part of the actual um, icon here because I didn't want to stuff the entire $20. So I'm just doing partial stuffings. And for this one, this one will probably be done relatively soon in another month or two. This one will go on for years. Each icon is $10. It's going to go on for such a long time, but that's okay. I just add a little bit and a little bit. And the next one will probably be done um, by summer, at least the $500 savings challenge. Then we have the 52 week again with a partially colored icon there. And then the $5 challenge. So these are not the most exciting. They don't require any cards or dice. So this is just a quick update for you on this binder. 
This binder, however, is a little bit more exciting because I just added the Lucy Girl envelope. I had this ordered earlier in the year and I used it off and on. I went ahead and took it out uh, for a more general pet care envelope, but Lucy Girl's envelope is back in the Savings Challenge binder. Let me move those to the side. And it is my absolute pleasure, Christy, to stuff her very two L bucks, the very first two that she's ever received. And I thank you for thinking of her. And then, let's see, we do have some special bucks and also my L bucks. So let me go grab those real quick. Silly me, they were right next to me and I didn't realize it. These are brand new dollar bills. They haven't been used. They are crisp and beautiful and thick and sequential. If you've been here before, you know one of my favorite words is sequential. I just love it. So these two special dollars are going to go into this envelope of special bills. I'm not counting these. It's just when I come across money um, that catches my attention, has a unique serial number, or maybe a sequential number, I want to put it in this envelope for safekeeping, and we'll see what we want to do with that at the end of the year. And then we do have some L bucks. We have three bucks. They are in tough, rough shape. Look at that. But you know what? They're going into my Elbuck collection just the same. I haven't counted these dollars. I don't know how much is in here, but we will um, look to count those by the end of the year at some point. And this is the scratcher that I am doing for each month. And what I decided to do was to add the larger numbers together and divide by the number of the month. So last week we had a 2, a 22, and a 31. So added together came to 54 divided by 2 for February for a total of stuffing $27. Then this week we have the 26, the 5, and the 13. $44 divided by 2 for February is 22. Those have already been stuffed. And let's go ahead and scratch two more today. Let's see, my coin is right up here. And do you want to go left, right, top, bottom, diagonal? Um, let's go here in the bottom corner. Not too bad, we have a 12. And then let's go here in this upper corner and a 19. So I will be adding those together. Looks like that will be $31. Let me see, 19, 29, 30, 31 divided by two. So that would be about $16. So I can definitely do that. And then for later in the month, we just have two circles left and that's how I'm handling this challenge. Next is the mini envelope challenge from Mel at Mystic Budgets. I did stuff the $3, and let's go ahead and scratch and see what we're going to get for next week. Eight. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. That's the thing about scratch-offs, you guys. You're never sure what you're going to get, but this is doable also. Let's see if we have anything else. Um... This one is already stuffed from last week. I did take care of the music challenge, the vacation challenge, the wild thing challenge, and the groovy challenge. And we'll start this one maybe in summer, but these are all updated. And these last challenges comes, come from Mel at Mystic Budgets. And you guys, listen carefully. It might be part of the giveaway. So anyway, I hope you enjoy seeing these and that's going to update us for our savings binder number two. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look and see how much money we have for today. And with the stuffings that I already did for the other two binders, this is what we're left with, with to play our games. So please know that I think at the end of each month, let me move this over here actually, at the end of each month, I will go ahead and do a reconciling of the envelopes. Maybe we'll count the cash together and see how much I'm paying myself back for the month of February. As you may know, I am on a mission to pay myself back $30,000 for seven years of overspending. So we're making some good progress. We will continue today. So we have 10, 20, 
25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, and 91. This is money that I would have been spending in the beauty community. Makeup, skincare, perfume, lotions and potions, and I'm just not doing it anymore, you guys. I have not bought any new makeup or skincare since September. So let's go ahead and this challenge is a birthday challenge. Rebecca from Here to Their Journey created this, and she was nice enough to put me here. Lots of other budgeters also in some stepping stones. So let's go ahead. We will roll the four dice. We have six and 10 and 11. So we're gonna start at the right place this time where it says start. <laughs> Sometimes I jump around. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that will be one dollar for the stepping stone. Let's roll again. We have 12, 13, and 16 total for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This challenge is being very nice to me today. Maybe because last week or the week before I landed on two people. Okay, here we go. We have 9, 10, and 16. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have to double check. What did I say? <laughs> 10, 19, it looks like. 10, 16, 17, 18, 19. So let me start over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And because we have just had single dollars so far, we will go one more time. And I'm just putting those down at the bottom. All right, so we have 10, 11, and 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I knew it was going to happen at some point. And here we have coffee, coffee and budget for $5. So in Rebecca's birthday challenge, we will have five, six, seven, eight added today. And let's see what we're up to. How creative is this challenge? And how sweet to put us all on it. Just really adorable. So here we go. 25, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Beautiful. So that's gonna take care of Rebecca's birthday challenge for today. Okay, you guys, have you seen this challenge? I bet you have. Well, you haven't seen it here on this channel yet because I just bought it. And this comes from Reinventing Renee. This is the Shut the Box Challenge. And the trick here is that you roll the dice, use a combination of numbers to eliminate the actual numbers on the game board. And then when you cannot eliminate any more numbers, then that is what you stuff. Okay, you guys, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay, let's see what we get. Just two dice for this. And we have a three and a one. So I could either color in the four or the three and the one. I think I will color in the four. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. And let's do another one. And, oh, a nine. Okay, I could do six and three, but I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this nine. I think that's what most people do. I think people try to knock out the larger numbers first. So let's see if I can manage that. Okay, and now we have a three and a two, so I'm gonna knock out this five. If you play this game and I am doing it incorrectly, please, <laughs> please let me know. Okay, well, you know I have to color in all the little spots. Okay, next we have a six and a four. So let me see, that's 10. So the four is already colored. I could do, let's see, I could do eight and two for 10. So let's do that. 
take care of that eight. There we go. And let's take care of this two. There we go. So I will either be left with, oh gosh, I don't know you guys. Let's see what happens. 11. Oh, I wonder if you could do like the seven, the three, and the one, and then I would be left with a six. Does that work? Am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to break 11 into three numbers? Um, you cannot use three numbers. Oh, no. All right, so let's do... I don't know what to do, you guys. Eek! Let me know down in the comments. So we have a six. Oh my God, do I have to, do I have to stuff all of this? You cannot use three numbers if you rolled a three and a two. Okay, no combination, then your game is complete. Add up the, oh no. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is, let me see, 13. This is, oh my gosh, you guys. This game did me wrong. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing it right, but if I am, that means we have $17 here. Seven, three, 10, 16, and 17. 10, 15, 16, 17. Oh my word. Okay, well, you know what? That's what I get. That's what I get for trying something new. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Of course I tried something new. How could I not play this game? So let's color these in. Seven. $17. It is what it is, you guys. $17 is more than I usually stuff um, for roll the dice games. A little bit more anyway. But oops, look at me coloring outside the lines. This marker's giving me a hard time too. But you know what? It's good. Let's get that money saved. Wow, $17. Let me know down below. If I did it right, you guys. All I know is that this $17 is my first contribution for Shut the Box. Let's move on. And for coffee cash today, you guys, I'm just stuffing $6. I went ahead and colored these in. Each mocha is for $3 and five and six going into coffee cash. Let's see what we are up to in this envelope. Coffee cash has 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So a nice amount there. All right, let's move on to place your bets. This is actually a card game, and all the money is going to go into the same envelope, so we're not splitting anything up here. Let me get my cards, and we will do a quick shuffle and make sure that everything is nice and mixed up here. Face cards are double the amount, so clubs are $3, diamonds two, spades one, hearts five. And one more ought to do it. All right, here we go. We have a five of spade, one dollar. Oop, queen of diamonds, so that's gonna be four. And you know what? I'm gonna put this back and grab a five. I usually flip about four cards. 10 of hearts. Wow, big numbers today, you guys. Another five. And then we have a three of diamonds for two. So I am going to take these two fives, put them back, grab the last 10, and then we will call this over and done. And in place your bets today, adding 12. Let's get this all organized and do a count. Okay, so place your bets now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1. Wow, you guys, it really does add up. And that's going to do it today for place your bets. So let's go ahead, this is the save or spend, and we alternate the high and low numbers on the dice. Last time spend had the higher amount, so this time save will have the higher amount. And, well, go figure. That helps a little bit because 
that shut the box challenge was so expensive. So save and spend, each getting a dollar. Let's see what this does. We have a six and a four. So the six is going to go to save and the four to spend. So let's do five and six to save and then four to spend, one, two, three, four. And I am quickly, quickly running out of money, you guys. Before we do our Tiki Bears, you might remember if you watched last week that I did end up with an IOU. Thankfully, I already had this money pulled. So all we're going to stuff this week is the IOU that we had for last week. And this came about because I had a seven pulled out for the 100 envelope box, but I didn't have enough to cover it. So let's just verify that we do have, oh, you know what, I thought it was four. Maybe I stuffed four and then needed the three. Either way, this is what I had pulled out. I will double check and see if I owe myself another dollar. Oh, I try to be so careful. But sometimes, you guys, this is a lot to keep track of. Thankfully, it's just a dollar. So I do have a little reminder in this envelope, number 43. This one was 44 that we just did. And I think that this was a two. Okay, so we should be caught up here. And that's all we're going to stuff today for the 100 envelope box so we can save the rest for Tiki Bears. Let's take a look. Oh, we have a little bit more than I thought, just not in ones. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, and 31. As cute as it is, we don't have much more to go. So I have a feeling in the next, certainly by the end of February, into March, I would think that this one will be done. So let's take a look. We're gonna go ahead and start here and let's see where we go today. We have six, seven, and 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 for $3. One, two, three, one, two, three. And let's go again. These challenges, the Tiki Bears, the Place Your Bets, the Coffee Cash, um, those are all from Two Sister Bees, and they make such a quality product, you guys. All right, here we go. Seven, eight, and 12. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for one dollar. And let's go again. And we have two, three, eight, and 12. Where did we end? Was it right here? Was it right here? Oh my gosh, you guys, I do this every time. I think it was here for just the dollar. Okay, so 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right. Let's do at least one or two more. So we have seven, eight, and 10, starting again at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I'll go here since that one, or actually it would be here anyway, 10. So another five. And one more, so 10 and 14, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my goodness, Tiki Bear getting a lot of money today. Okay, we're gonna end it there. And I think maybe I will put this right back into the 100 envelope box, but let's see what we're adding to Tiki Bears today. Oh, that's a lot of money. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Added to what we have in here already. It's so funny because when you find a challenge that you just enjoy so much, you just want to play it. So I might have to order another Tiki Bears. So we have 20, 40, 60, 570, 580, 560. 
seven, eight, nine, ninety, one, two, three, four, to end today with Tiki Bears. So I might not be the bravest budgeter here, but I'm going to take what's left and put it into envelope 45. So we have 5, 10, 11, 12, going into envelope number 45. So what was left gets put right back in here. A little extra stuffing for the box today, and that's always a good thing. Little bonus for the box. So there you have it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Winning Wallet. Thank you so much to Ange and to Christy for thinking of me and sending me some happy mail. If you would like to do so, and if you would like to receive happy mail in return, I will put my P.O. box right on the screen for you. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm working my way up to 1,000 subscribers. Hopefully, I don't know, in the next month or so. Um, but either way, if you're here watching, I welcome you, and I am wishing you all a wonderful Valentine's Day, a wonderful rest of your weekend. Happy Super Bowl weekend. Enjoy the game if you are watching, and I think that's going to do it, you guys. And here on The Winning Wallet, we know it's never too early and never too late to start taking good care of our finances, and we also know self-care isn't selfish. So until next time, bye for now.